Hello, my name is John Dexter and welcome to my channel. I'd like to show you today how you can use Nikon's Capture NX2 editing software to edit their latest camera RAW files or NEF files. And I'm pretty sure that this can be used to edit any RAW file from any make of camera. I must point out the only two things you can't do in this process that I'm about to show you is your exposure compensation and your white balance. This can be done either in Capture NXD first or if you're using a different make of camera there's plenty of free software out there which allows you to carry out this process first. First of all, let me tell you a bit about Nikon's Capture NX2. It's a editing software um, which you have to purchase. I think it's going for about £150 on Amazon at the moment. But it's a software which was bought out to edit their raw files or NEF files as Nikon call them. But on their latest cameras, they stopped supporting it so you could not download the raw files into it to edit them which to me was a bit of a problem because I've used this software for about four years and I absolutely love it. It's a very powerful easy to use software and I was absolutely distraught when I purchased a D500 and could no longer download the raw images so I felt I had to find a way around it um, because Photoshop and Lightroom uh, just out of my league. I just cannot understand most of it. Um, maybe it's my age. Um, so I spent a lot of time trying to rectify the problem and this is a tutorial on how I did it. First thing you want to do is open up the image that you want to edit. Now depending on what camera you have depends on what software you use for this but there's always free downloads on the internet to be able to do this with any camera you have. I'm using Capture NXD which was supposed to be a replacement for Capture NX2 but in all fairness it is free to download whereas um, NX2 you have to purchase. But in my opinion, it's nowhere near as powerful, nowhere near as good. So I don't use it as a replacement. But it does allow me to open up my raw images. Now I've picked this one. I've just put it in a folder to find it. But let me just show you what happens if I try and open that up in Capture NX2. It will just come up with the uh, file cannot be basically downloaded. That's because Nikon no longer support their latest camera raw files on NX2, which is a shame. But how we can get over this is if you open it up, as I say, in any software that you can open your raw images up, the chances are you will have the opportunity to convert it to a TIFF file. Now I usually convert it to 16-bit, you can convert it to 8-bit, um, it's a smaller file which is fine but I usually use just 16-bit. Pick where you want the image to go, press start and it will voila download. You now have a TIFF file. You can now go and download that TIFF file into Capture NX2. You then carry on and do all the editing that you want to do to that file. Um, I won't go through a load of editing steps. There's so many tutorials on that on YouTube, but I will show you just a couple of adjustments, basically. Let, let's, let's do the uh, double threshold, which is your um, black and white points. 
So let's do the black point. And we do the white point. Okay. Um, you can then do, well, you can do anything you like, basically. Any editing you want to do to it, do it. You know, you can do your levels and curves. Um, you can even crop it. Let's just do a crop. Okay, now the trick is when you come to save the file, you save it as a raw file or NEF file. Okay, now I might add that this process is totally non destructive, so you are not damaging the original image at all. And when you come back out, you now see that you have a raw file, which you can at any time go back into NX2. And there is all your savings. There's all your adjustments saved. OK, and you can alter these again. So if you wanted to do away with the crop. There you go. You can do away with anything you like or you can bring them back again. You can also carry on and do further adjustments. So let's just do, let's do a color booster on it. Okay. As I say, this isn't editing, this is just showing you. And again, when you finished your other adjustments, if you do any, when you come back out, you save it again as a raw or NEF file. Okay, and there, there it is. And as I say, that is non-destructive. You can go back into it anytime and alter any of your adjustments. And this allows you to use Capture NX2 with your latest Nikon cameras. And I am pretty sure you could do this process with any make of camera that you wanted. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you can be informed of any future videos. I'll be doing some on my abstract photography soon. Many thanks. Bye for now.